Alrighty guys, we have a replay between Tidarianak and Dragonlord. Um, I don't know who Dragonlord is. Maybe it's Taker. Maybe it's Yubitsa. Maybe it's Duel Lord. Uh, but whoever it is, um, I'm pretty sure it's somebody who sent me a replay in the mail. Because I... Put a bunch of replays from my mail into the replay folder so that I could cast them. But at any rate, Tendarian Knack is a very good player, and Dragon Lord uploaded this, so he probably beat him, which means Dragon Lord is also a very good player. Gotta use your inferences, you know? Use your brain. Japu, you have an exam tomorrow and haven't done anything about it. Um, well, I know the feeling. Good luck. Forsaken and Dread Chargers versus just Forsaken. I feel like Tidarianak usually plays fire. I might be wrong, but I think he, I feel like he usually plays fire. So perhaps that could be why Dragon Lord wins. Or maybe uh, Tidarianak is just not as good as I think he is. That could be the case also. Mm -hmm. Things are... Waiting out. Yeah, Battle Forge. I think one of the one of the biggest reasons why it's not such a good spectator sport is because the plus the best players don't want to take risks, which means that the games sort of do this thing where we just wait around. Like there's often long periods of waiting in Battle Forge games, um, just because you know like that's the safest way to play. Sunwoo seems like a sparring match. Uh, I mean, I sort of, I guess I get that impression, but the question is that why is Dragon Lord using a Smurf if it's a, if it's a sparring match? But yeah, maybe I can definitely see it. These guys are frenzied, so if Dragon Lord runs away, he ends up with an extra squad of Sunstriders, albeit one with basically no health. Uh, oh, and everybody frenzied and the nasty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see why Dragon Lord wins. We get a couple shots and kill one unit from the Forsaken, but the rest are still good, so the squad uh, should be okay. Looks like they'll attack this Dread Charger very quickly, and we've got the Counter Frenzy. Um, but this time, I think Tazarianak will take, or sorry, Dragon Lord will take a bunch of units with him, so the Frenzy will be okay or good. Um, and we've got a tier 2. These guys frenzied from way back there. I guess they were in the same group and he just put frenzy on all of them. And then he was like, oh wait, I frenzied these guys. I better use them. So there, proof. Even the pros make micro mistakes. We've got a Lost Souls versus Lost Souls mirror. That is cool. On Halidor, the mirror map. So, yeah. People, people don't like mirrors a lot, I think. Mirrors get a bad rep. I like I like watching mirrors uh, because it's it often comes down to micro, especially if they're playing the exact same deck. Um, but it's also interesting to watch and see like how one or two cards difference between the two decks can make a difference. Uh, people are welling up. That's, I guess, okay. Because that means both of them have a large tier three. And both of them are like, let's just play some large tier 3. Uh, Sunwoo says that Dragon Lord might be Dragon Dempy. Um, it's possible, but... Uh, I... I mean, I know I... I mean, it's, it's certainly possible, but I, I think that somebody sent me this replay in the mail, and I added it with all the other replays that I added at that time in the mail. And unless Dragon Dampy is like secretly Yubitsa or something, I don't think so. But it could be possible. Um, yeah, okay, good. This guy's probably gonna kill himself. And the Nightcrawler goes, oh, nice, Sun Reaver, or Lost Reaver, sorry. 
Lost Reaver is a good card. I feel it's a little bit underused actually, which is fine with me because it's a, I think it's just a good card. Um, it just has like great stats and lots of health. It's great for nasties. Of course, you also have Mountaineers, which are just like overpowered cards. Uh, we've got the loss. Yeah, Arm Corruption to kill the... That was good, a little bit sneaky, I think. Um, because it looked like Tendarianak was focusing on this boss Reaver over here. And... But he did see this, this lost Reaver and freeze him in time. This guy gets away. The squads of archers are probably dead. This guy's sitting in the back just to shoot anybody that comes this way and trying to threaten his Lost Reaver Master. Meanwhile, this Lost Reaver is dead. And we're playing the waiting game once more. Or tier 3. Okay, tier 3. Things are about to get exciting. What will Tidarianak do? Will he rush? Will he go tier 2? Or sorry, tier three. Or will he approach with the mountaineer and peck at a little power well? And Dragon Lord will heal the kobold for basically two shots. Um, but it doesn't really matter, I think, because if you're playing tier three against tier two, the tier three should just like drop as many wells as fast as possible. And if this guy nasty, he would wipe this all out, I think. Or I suppose you could just kill it normally. That's cool too. Two Mountaineers. Uh, Cultist Master. Frozen. That's, I suppose it's a good counter, but you waste a freeze for one unit. And, you know, he can make another one for this, like, less cost than it takes to freeze. So it's not really a good solution, I think. We could see a, a Kobold and maybe Glacier Shell, and this would be all defense. Another freeze. Uh, oh, and this drops. Okay, that's good. It does drop. I feel like Dragon Lord is being a little suboptimal by defending. I guess I have to think about my style, and my style is definitely not to defend. And so I guess I have certain biased gameplay options. But if you're tier 3, I feel like generally your offensive options are just going to be better than whoever's tier 2. So if you just go offensive both of you at the same time, you should kill things faster than the, like double mountaineers are going to kill things from you. But I understand that everybody has their own play styles and they might not all want to play that much. This dropped to something. Uh, looked like it may have been a curse well. But Tidarianax tier 2, so no, that didn't happen. Okay, Grigori. And when the Grigori taunts, the mountaineers cry a little bit and then they die. Freeze and freeze. Um, that's okay because it just lets Dragon Lord build up his power so that he can use his uh, infused attraction, which only costs 50 power. We see the tier 2 from uh, Tadarianak, which is Shadow Frost Shadow. Um, same as Dragon Lord's playing action. So we've got a complete mirror. I actually wouldn't be surprised. Actually, never mind. No, they're not playing the same deck because. We, we've got the Mountaineers versus the Lost Reavers. Is this guy attracted? No, he's not. He can walk around. Yep, Nightcrawlers are hitting that wall very hard. This guy comes to attack. We see the wall taken. I don't agree with this. You can see that it was not useful because a wall needs to stay alive for, uh, what, more than two minutes? I need to stay alive for, um, I guess, 200 seconds, so almost three minutes. Basically, at three minutes, the well becomes worth it to take. So you notice the game ends at like ten and a half minutes. So any wells taken past seven and a half minutes were wasted wells. And if you think about void power return, probably like any wells taken for you know the second half of the game were just wasted wells. All right, so everyone lancers with zero health coming in. These guys are running away. I think they should attack him and just kill him before he spawns something nasty. But it looks like that's not the case. He's just going to run around and 
I don't know what he's doing. Okay, the night. Okay, yeah, night crawlers and evil eaters will. That's rough. Um, good job, Dragon Lord. You win this game. I have a little bit of offensive going on here, but cultist masters are. Yeah. Yeah. And this is dropping to the Grigori, and everything falls at once. It's off in the way of it. All right, my game ends. Good job, Dragon Lord. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, I haven't done one of these outros in a long time, and it's not because I forgot, it's because I'm lazy. But I'm doing one now. So, yeah. This outro is just to remind you that I still do these outros, and it's to let you know that there's a couple of cool things coming up on the way. Before the 100th replay, there's going to be a video that's different, letting you know that something is coming up. Alright, thanks for watching. I've, I don't know what I'm doing. This is why I don't do these.